Hello friends! Today you'll see how actors of the movie Gladiator have changed. You'll know their original names and age. I will show you how they looked then in 2000 and what's with them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Connie went on to secure a role as the daughter of Satan in The Devil's Advocate, which was her breakout film. She later received international recognition in Gladiator. In the film, Nielsen Lucilla was the daughter of Emperor of Rome by the time of 180 CE. Jaman Hunsu is a Beninese American actor and model. For several years he was homeless, sleeping under bridges, searching garbage cans for food, begging for money and washing in a public fountain near the Pompidou Center. In the film, he played Juba, a Numidian tribesman who was enslaved and purchased by Antonius Proxima. Dragon Phoenix nearly stole the Roman epic gladiator from star Russell Crowe with his turn as the twisted, jealous Emperor Commodus. His work netted him nominations for many of the acting profession's most prestigious awards, including the Oscars. In the film, he played Commodus, the son of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Actor Spencer Treat Clark rose to prominence for his role in the film Gladiator. In the film, he played Lucius Verus. Lucius Verus II was the son of Roman Empress Lucilla and Lucius Verus, who is deceased. Lucius was nearly 13 in the year 180 CE. He was the co-ruler during the reign of his uncle, Roman Emperor Commodus. Ralph Moller is a German-American actor and former competitive bodybuilder. In the film, he played Hagen. He was a barbarian from Germania who was sold to Proxima, a wealthy slave owner. Being a talented fighter, he was designated by Proxima to test any new slave's fighting ability. He later befriended Juba and Maximus. Famous Irish actor Richard Harris. In the film, he played Marcus Aurelius, the emperor of the Roman Empire, Caesar. He was murdered by his son Commodus because Marcus had instead appointed Maximus to be his successor. Harris died shortly after the film was released in 2002. He had been suffering from Hodgkin's disease. Actor Thomas Arana is known for his unconventional roles in action films. In The Gladiator, he played Quintus. He was a friend of General Maximus and he was his second-in-command general. Quintus sided with the usurper by following through the execution order of Maximus, adding that his family would see him in the afterlife. Tommy Flanagan is an actor from Scotland, has been very hard working in the film and entertainment industry. He has also played significant roles in several films, which have been the best-selling in the market. In the film, he played Cicero, the servant of Roman general Maximus. He was later betrayed by Lucilla and was killed as a result. John Trapman, who was died aged 77 after suffering from cancer, was instantly recognizable on stage or screen over the past 50 years. In the film, he played Gaius, a senator. When Commodus became emperor, Gaius was a major leader in the government of the Roman Empire. Commodus has killed him by having a snake put into his bed. Costa Rican actress Janina Fascio first worked with director Ridley Scott in Gladiator. As of then, she has been Scott's partner. In the film, she played Maximus' wife, is the wife of the great Roman general Maximus Meridius. She was killed and crucified by the Roman cavalrymen sent by Emperor Commodus to burn their farm. Self-effacing private demeanor belied his forceful, commanding stage presence. In the film, he played Gracchus. Gracchus was a senator of the Roman Empire around 180 AD. He first was a senator under Marcus Aurelius. His distrust of Commodus led him to defect to the side of Maximus. 
Oliver Reed passed away while filming for The Gladiator. The world lost one of the most gripping and spellbinding on screen and off screen personalities. In the film, he played Antonius Proxima, who was a wealthy slave owner who owned ex Roman general Maximus. He himself was a gladiator who was freed by the Imperial Marcus Aurelius. Omi Jalili is a British Iranian stand up comedian, actor, presenter. Broke through in acting at the end of the 1990s in The Mummy and The World Is Not Enough. In the film, he played slave trader, an ugly character, a person who trades of slaves from all regions and to any wallet. He was the man who found Maximus unconscious. David Schofield is an English actor. Over the course of his life, Schofield had enjoyed success on stage, films and television. In the film, he played Falco, a Roman senator loyal to the Roman Emperor Commodus. Falco was very close to Commodus. He gave him a strategy to defeat Maximus based on an old tale of a sea serpent. Giorgio Cantarini, known for his childhood roles in the Oscar-winning movies Gladiator and Life is Beautiful. He was the 1998 recipient of a Young Artist Award in the film, he played Maximus' son. Commodus ordered cavalrymen to ride up to the farm of Maximus in Trujillo and burn it. He ran up and was trampled by the horsemen. David Hemmings was an English singer, actor and director. At the age of 62, Hemmings passed away on the film set of Blessed after suffering a heart attack. In the film, he played Cassius the announcer and head of the main Colosseum in Zuckerberg province, Algeria. He likes to wear a red wig to cover his white hair. Usually handsome good looks. He won an Academy Award for Gladiator. In the film, he played Maximus. Maximus was a high-ranking Roman general in command of multiple Roman legions who served under the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. He later served as a gladiator in the arena. Sven Ole Thorsen won Denmark's strongest man in 1983. Thanks to his stature, he often plays imposing giants and villains in films who are somehow beaten by smaller opponents in a David and Goliath manner. In the film, he played Tigris of Gaul, a gladiator who was undefeated heading into his match with Maximus Meridius. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.